So we are back for showdown and the next showdown week today is for the night before our next big pay-per-view which is coming around quite quickly this time. It's going to be Halloween Havoc 21st of October. So for showdown tonight, well we've got a few more feuds. I've got my whole uh, whole script sorted for um fight list rather for um halloween havoc all nine matches i've got it all mapped out um i think it'll be a great show so let me just talk you through a few more of the feuds we've got going on so i've got these three at the top sting dustin Rhodes. we're going to start for wall versus hugh morris and um for for cat will still want to get involved and might add bam bam bigelow into that for a four-way match for the tv title have a pay-per-view, but I think for Wall and Hugh Morris have had some good matches in the past and it'll make for a good feud. Two former stable members. Uh, the next one is Air Raid Filthy Animals. It keeps Kidman and Mysterio active um, each week, each show. And uh, another good push for Air Raid. And it's going to be for the Cruiser tag titles. Probably make it a four-way at the pay-per-view again. Uh, another tag feud, Totally Buff and Road Warriors, was one I was toying with, which went down okay when when I um when I did it. So that's the other one and uh Perfect Event Ginger Echo Hair, that's gonna play out until uh Halloween Havoc. So there's gonna be a rematch uh, of that uh fight. So there's a few things for you. We're gonna kick the thing uh kick things off with a new women's champion. Daphne is gonna win a free way over Major Guns and Stacey Keebler. For Wall is gonna start his feud off with Hugh Morris by challenging to him challenging him to a match on Nitro on Monday. Darkseid are going to beat Filthy Animals, of course, with a bit of interference from Air Raid, um, which will really get Filthy Animals back up. Sid Vicious is going to call out Roadkill, and the, the aim is to have Totally Buff and Road Warriors at Halloween Havoc, but also to have a Road Warriors team with Roadkill, just because they've got he's got Road in his name. And uh, for Sid Vicious to team up with Totally Buff, who are part of the uh, Evolution Revolution, so it'll be a free on free. So Sid's going to challenge Roadkill to a match to, um, in two days on Nitro. Sandman is going to be our new hardcore champion, but in the coming days, uh, Shane Douglas is going to cost him of that in the rematch against Smiley. And then that will uh, set up nicely for the Rat Pack to face the Extreme Revolution at Halloween Havoc. Uh, Shane Douglas is also going to call out Jake Roberts of the Extreme Revolution um, for a match on Nitro. Totally Buff are going to beat the Road Warriors by cheating. Lance Storm is going to hot up his feud with Kurt Hennig. Bam Bam Bigelow is going to beat Dusty Rhodes. Uh, they had a decent match on Saturday night, uh, sorry, on Showdown before the Fall Brawl. And this one versus one angle, Jarrett and Goldberg is uh, after Jarrett no showing against Goldberg on Thunder. He's going to sneak attack Goldberg uh, this time, intensifying that feud. And in the main event, we've got Sting beating Kevin Nash now. Um, the aim is to have two feuds together. Sting is going to team with Hogan and they're going to face Nash and Dustin Rhodes at Halloween Havoc. That is the plan. So let's start things off. Uh, very good rating, actually, for a, a women's match there. But I don't, it's not good enough to add to the pay-per-view yet, but it's certainly a good addition to Saturday Showdown. Hugh Morris for Wall. Not great. I'm hoping the match will be a lot better, which I'm sure it will be. But that's just the start of their feud. Dark Side Filthy Animals, decent match. Uh, Mysterio was sluggish. We're just hoping we can lift that morale up because he's a very talented guy. Uh, Roadkill, Sid Vicious comes out, challenges him to a match. Not a bad rating there. Norman Smiley, Sandman. Um, expecting maybe a little bit more, but that's for a hardcore match, that's decent. And hardcore title has gained image. Norman Smiley's in trouble. White Russian leg sweep that shook for ring. And Sandman was made for hardcore matches. We need to get him more involved in those uh, sorts of matches. This went down well. Shane Douglas and Jake Roberts. I should have made that into a feud before I um, took up another feud slot with the Air Raid and Filthy Animals. But um, I think Shane Douglas and Jake Roberts can have a few, maybe not good matches, but I think they can have a good uh, little rivalry there. 
Totally buff road warriors. That's a better rating. We want that. Uh, buff was sluggish, but if he's active in this feud, um, we should be able to get that morale back up. Hopefully. Lance Storm backstage. Um, like I said in the last show, the show before, I think his feud with Kurt Hennig is going to go down as one of the best. Um, that that has happened uh, in my time here managing WCW. And I think it'll be pretty epic. And hopefully both guys can go on to uh, compete for main events afterwards. Bamba Bigelow, Dusty Rhodes. Decent match there. Two big guys going at it. Golbo, Jeff Jarrett. comes behind, Jeff Jarrett comes from behind, attacks him with a chair. Jarrett walks off after hitting a few more chair shots, leaving Goldberg down on the floor. And I'm really liking this. And the plan is to have Goldberg... And um, Goldberg faced Jarrett at Halloween Havoc, but also to make it into a freeway with Scott Steiner. So I'm going to work out how Scott Steiner is going to come into this. Uh, probably maybe Scott Steiner will have a match with Jarrett on Nitro and then Goldberg will get involved and then it'll end up in a free man brawl and it'll uh, sort it out nicely for, um, for pay-per-view. Sting and Nash, uh, you know... Kevin Nash is involved, that's what you get. He was sluggish. And, of course, Hogan runs in to uh, to help Sting win. 67%, not too bad there. And, ironically, one of the worst segments was the main event. A typical trend with WCW. 0.48 for showdown, that's pretty good, actually. Uh, Liga wants to work with Jamie Noble. Okay, we'll sort that out. Let's have a look. Unhappy workers. Nash has gone down to six. I don't know why. I mean, he did fight Sting. He can't expect to win, surely. Dustin Rhodes' current gimmick is killing his hair. Oh, yeah, he's not um, had a fight since uh, I changed it, has he? So, what are we going to get on Nitro? Well, we need for ratings to go up. We'll probably get Steiner versus Jarrett in the main event. We need... Um, we're going to have Sid Vicious Roadkill and we're also going to have for Wall and Hugh Morris and Mike Tyson and Lennox Lewis. At least one of them I would like to um, introduce in some capacity um, to, to just gain a little bit of heat. So that pretty much uh, concludes this episode. Let's go to Monday and it'll probably give us a We've got an incident as well. 1.78 for No Mercy. That's pretty good. Okay, what's the incident? Oh, dear. That's why he's not happy. Buff Bagwell has stated that he has a drug habit that is ruining his life. I've got to send him to rehab, haven't I? Send to rehab. He's just started a feud with the... Um, Road Warriors, which is disappointing. I can't end the feud because Lex Luger is going to be really unhappy. So I'll have to sort out what to do with that. But uh, obviously, Buff Bagwell is not going to be appearing at Halloween Havoc in the 3 vs 3 match. So I need to sort out what to do with that. Maybe bring in DDP, or if I can replace DDP, uh, Buff Bagwell with DDP. We'll see anyway. I shall sort it out. But I've got Nitro to sort out now, and we really need for ratings to go up because we need to try and save WCW. So until then, see you next time.